I think I think many people, and I've been able to document this. I think many people have understood that uh, the avant-garde has been very important in Western perceptions of Russian Soviet culture. Um, so that it's in the interest of the people who make cultural policy over there to preserve these buildings, many of which were in terrible shape in the 1970s. They were, they were no longer in favor. People thought the style was uninteresting. And suddenly they realized, no, this was really when Russia, modern Russia, Soviet Russia, was in the forefront, avant-garde. In the 1920s, during the Stalinist period, they turned their backs on that. But still, it happened, and the buildings were there. So that by photographing the building, by documenting the building, you provide a door for a narrative. And without that image, uh, your narrative is hobbled uh, because uh, the photograph properly uh, conceived and documented uh, is a portal. Uh, there are many different things you can extrapolate from a, a photograph. What's happened to the building? What's changed? Uh, how close is the photograph to the original? All of these things can be used for discussion. 